Hey guys, this is Juan from Team Sketch to React, and today I'm going to show you all the new stuff in Stratos Tokens 2021 that we released a couple of weeks ago. So let's just dive right in. Uh, the first thing is that we have added new ways of creating design tokens. So there's more ways you now can use, for example, lines uh, to uh, measure breakpoints, spacing, and padding. Uh, we also have support for multiple uh, shadows, shadow effects. Let me show you. So let's just jump into our new. Uh, this is uh, us quick start guide that we have created, so that you can uh, see for yourself um, what and how to do stuff. So the new things are, for example, uh, that you now can have multiple shadows. So the, to make shadows, you just uh, draw a rectangle and then you apply shadow effects. As you can see here, I have four different things here. And if you look in our app, uh, let me find the correct one, it's there. Uh, let me show you how it looks in code. Uh, order formatting shadows here. So you can, here you can see that uh, shadow four has four settings. And you may notice something here. This is one of the, the, the biggest new things is that now everything that you want to come out as uh, design token JSON data, you need to have curly brackets around, even including artboards. So, and that is a breaking change if you compare to the pre-release version. Uh, and the great thing about this is that you can mix and match with regular design components. You can create instructions. Everything that is not inside curly brackets will not collide uh, in our app, which makes this output uh, much, much cleaner. Another thing that is new is that we now have a demo version of the app and also we have a windows version of the app we know that uh, a lot of developers work uh, on windows machines so uh, every startups tokens license comes with two activations so you could for example have the designer working on a mac and the developer on uh, the windows machine and you could collaborate uh, with these de design tokens projects so that is really great. Here, for example, you can see the, the thing that I mentioned in the beginning, how to use lines to uh, output uh, breakpoints. So for example, here I have just, I made a line and it's 1280 pixels in width, and I called it uh, LG. And it, it has curly brackets. So that is really, really important, the curly brackets. Also, we now have more ways of outputting CSS properties. Uh, so, for example, if you want to uh, output font weight, uh, you could you just uh, use the CSS property font weight on your text layer name, and then uh, the only thing that will come out here right now is the font weight, which is, for example, light. Uh, and for example, for borders, we have the same thing. You can divide them to radius, weight, and color. So for example, here in this example, uh, the only thing that comes out in code is the radius of the rectangle. And here uh, is the weight, which is 12 pixels. And here you have the color. So more ways of outputting the sound tokens. You can also, for example, uh, have line height like this, letter spacing. All of these things are, of course, written in our documentation. So that's on the design token uh, part of things. If you, we go to the app, we have done quite some work here. First of all, let me just do this. We now have dark mode support, which is nice. Beautiful dark mode. So you can work with this uh, late at night. When would you actually learn this, if not late. Uh, so that is really, really nice. Uh, like that. 
Uh, this one you can now adjust if you have a real long name for your design file. Uh, you can adjust it like that. We now also also include a readme file for each new project that you create with ins ins instructions on how to, for example, install style dictionary. Uh, so it's actually really easy. Uh, just follow these rules here and you will be up and running in no time. I also did a, a big tutorial on how to get started with style dictionary. Make sure to uh, check it out in our blog. Uh, I will put it in the description of this. Uh, let me see what's more. What What is new also? Uh, oh, yeah, let me mention that right now we uh, right now we have created a new uh, design to code super bundle that we call it. So if you purchase Sketch to React and Startup tokens at the same time, you will get that really nice 33% discount. So be sure to uh, not miss this one if you haven't uh, purchased our apps yet. So let me just go down here. Of course, we have support for uh, working with uh, uh, Sketch Cloud and live collaboration uh, from Sketch version 71. That is a huge thing since uh, you could potentially just uh, team up with someone else and uh, create your design tokens that way. Also, we are releasing very, very soon, in just a couple of days, we have a sketch assistant for Starless Tokens that is coming out. And this one is really great since uh, it will help aid you. We don't have so many rules, but it will aid you with the most important things. Uh, for example, line names need to have curly brackets, rectangle names uh, need to have curly brackets, etc. etc. Uh, of course, when you are designing like this you will have stuff on your artboards that are not design tokens so what you do then for example if you go here i have a lot of errors but they are not errors you will learn this in time of course this one uh, should not come out so i will just ignore this one and ignore this one etc etc you get the point this way you can actually go through all of your design tokens and uh, see what actually is set up and what is missing and what you can ignore. So that's it. I hope that this uh, guide will um, be useful to you uh, to understand all the awesome new things that we have added to Stratus Tokens 2021. Take care. Cheers.